What's up TJM Unbox? Amazon just released some exciting news about their holiday known as Amazon Prime Day. And that is the fact that the holiday is going to be happening on October 13th and October 14th. And what does this mean for you? So basically Amazon Prime Day is Black Friday and Cyber Monday squashed together for Amazon's own internal holiday, I guess. This is going to be an amazing time for buying Amazon products like their Kindles, their Echo Dots, their Echo Minis, their Echo Car Hub, any Amazon product that they have. And this is actually coming a couple weeks after Amazon released some brand new products. So I personally believe that this holiday is just going to try getting rid of all the older Amazon products to make room for the newer ones that are coming out. Even though these products are maybe a year or two old, they're still really great and they'll still continue to be updated. So if you're planning on buying an Amazon Dot or any of their smart products, now is a great time to get it. And this holiday is not just for Amazon products. A lot of other companies will be participating and having discounts on their items. So if you have anything in your cart, you might want to hold off on purchasing it for a couple days until the holiday and that's when you can purchase it when it probably be at a discount which is pretty awesome one exciting thing that Amazon is going to be pushing this year is their digital products a lot of digital products like their movies or music or shows are going to be on sale to purchase or rent them so it's gonna be an exciting time if you're a prime member to buy some movies these savings can range from only a dollar to a couple of dollars which is great if you're planning on purchasing it already now this holiday is mostly geared toward prime members and that's the subscription service Service where you pay a monthly fee to have access to Amazon Prime, two-day shipping, their movies, their music, and a couple other services. If you are not a Prime member currently, you'll still have access to some sales, but if you were ever planning on signing up for Amazon Prime, this is the time to do it. They usually offer a couple discounts, whether it be a free month or an extra sale or something, or a couple dollars off. So now is the time to sign up. I personally signed up as a student where I only pay about $6 a month and I really recommend that any student that has an, an EDU email address should be able to sign up and get the discounts instantly. And that's what I do. I have Amazon Prime and I've been paying that for a couple months and it works really great. I have an Amazon Fire Stick and I have access to a huge library of movies on top of my Netflix subscription, which is really awesome. One cool thing that I've already noticed this year is if you download the Amazon app, you're able to set reminders for certain products. So I have some reminders set for an Amazon Kindle that I want to buy. I also have a Reminder set for some smart LED light bulbs that I'll be able to install, which is really cool because I'll get notified on my phone when the items go on sale, so I'll be able to purchase them before they sell out or before the discount ends. And that's one thing weird about this holiday is the fact that the sales do not last a whole day or the two days. Some of these sales only last like an hour or two, so you have to act really quickly and buy them as soon as you can. Also, I'm assuming that a lot of the popular products will most likely sell out really quickly because you're facing basically all the other Amazon Prime members purchasing things and those people are already purchasing a lot. So it's kind of difficult. So these reminders will be very helpful. You could probably also use an extension like Honey for setting reminders when things go on sale and they're cheaper than they usually are. One more important thing that if you're planning on participating on Amazon Prime Day is the fact that they are currently offering discounts for certain things. So one of the discounts is if you purchase from a small business that sells on Amazon, you'll get $10 in a store credit, which basically means you'll get a $10 gift card for Amazon. So it's really great if you purchase just like a product that's only 10 or $20 because you'll either get it half off or you'll get it for free and then you can use that remaining $10 on something else you want to purchase. Now one also really awesome thing is the fact that if you reload your Amazon balance which basically means you're purchasing an Amazon gift card and you purchase an amount of $100 you'll get $10 for free so that's like a 10% return which is really great especially when you pair that with an Amazon store card and you purchase it with that you'll get another 5% cash back and I did that a day ago and I got about $15 for free which is really cool because I was gonna buy something anyways. And with those savings, I gotta save even more, which is pretty awesome. I'll have a link down below explaining that a little bit more. And I'll have a link for the student discounts if you are a student and you wanna sign up for Prime. And also just for Amazon, or you could just go to amazon.com. There's a lot of banners and a lot of different logos on the Amazon website for Amazon Prime Day. They're really advertising this holiday. So I'm expecting a lot of people will participate. Stay tuned because I'll be making some more videos on some of the bigger sales. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye.